The new 718 Boxster is the successful sequel to its predecessor. During its development, we focused on three main points. The first is advanced development of performance and efficiency. The second is enhancing the design to create a more contemporary appearance. And the third is significant improvements with regard to the general theme of connectivity in the car. The real challenge here was to give the vehicle even more individual character and demonstrate the technical merits of the vehicle even more clearly. The first focal point I mentioned is the engine. Flat engines as we had previously, but with four cylinders in the future. New, it is turbocharged in the basic model as well as in the S version. The second major technical improvements have been made to the chassis. Now we've got more direct steering in the car, 10% more direct than in the previous model. For the first time, we're able to offer a controlled sport suspension that is set 20 millimeters lower in the vehicle. And the third major point is the theme of connectivity. We've got a new PCM 4.0, as we call it, which can implement everything required for connectivity in the Porsche Connect apps in the vehicle. Our process always begins with the vehicle's proportions. And this is the first item that we have focused more intensively on in development. For example, we have addressed the aspect of wide and low even more. The wings are lower. That was the first big job. The second job was to implement this aspect with styling elements, the headlights and especially the taillights. Primarily, we simply did this to create more individuality, but we also emphasize the aspect of width and the low stance of the vehicle on the road. If you look at the front of the vehicle, along the midline, for instance, you see this radius roughly where the bonnet meets the bumper, and it has been moved a few millimeters closer to the road. The very slender front lights and the air inlets at the front end have been moved further to the sides. All of these small details make the vehicle appear even lower and wider. And it's exactly the same at the rear, where the rear wing has reduced height. The tail lights have been widened, and this band, which now integrates our three-dimensional Porsche badge, also emphasizes the aspect of width. These are all very small, subtle details, which, when combined, give the impression that the car sits even lower and wider on the road. It was vital that our Boxster, the classic roadster with its futuristic design, should not have an entirely new exterior look just because it was getting a turbo engine. And so our challenge was to see how we could get a turbo engine into this roadster and satisfy its induction air and cooling air needs with the existing inlets. Another problem was to determine how we could incorporate the air filter, the entire induction path and the intercooler in a very compact way on the engine, so that the total engine size would be no larger than the naturally aspirated six-cylinder engine that was previously installed in the Boxster. Regarding the interior, it's always important for us to have an interior create an atmosphere that gives the driver and the front passenger a good feeling about sitting in the vehicle. This was our focus, but we focus primarily on the aspect of communication. One example is the screen in the middle of the center console where we now have a glass look.